hello viewers i welcome you all from hlt of tech channel and today we will talk about uh, a farm backup of sharepoint 2019 on premise environment <clears throat> as a sharepoint administrator it is very necessary that you perform a regular backup of your complete farm and you also restore it whenever required so in order to uh, perform a complete farm backup you you may log in into the central administration and on in this module you click on perform a backup so in this backup you are uh, going to perform a farm level backup so in this farm there is a sharepoint underscore config database uh, and this database is responsible for system or it is actual the heart of your sharepoint farm all the configuration settings of your farm your site collections your timer jobs and your info pass jobs all the search services all the other services all of these things uh, of your farm uh, that are the components of farm are saved in this database so uh, second thing is that there is a sharepoint uh, web application uh, foundation service in which your uh, you know that we have created our uh, web application this is the web application and in this web, web application there are two content databases i have a familiarization with uh, all of these components if you are regularly watching my videos so uh, in this similarly there are uh, server states uh, server state service there are info path service similarly in wss administration if we talk about the central administration that is the web interface of this central admin there are many other services uh, here you can see them so these all are required all the search services all the other services that you have configured are uh, a part of this central administration and similarly there are shared services and uh, all of these things are included in your farm backup so in short whenever you want to uh, have a farm backup you will select this one uh, it will automatically select all of it or you can even minimize it and just select it and click on next okay uh, in the next step that is the second step it will ask you that uh, whether you want to perform a full backup or a differential backup as a general practice uh, it is always recommended that you configure a full backup automatically on weekly or monthly basis and differential backup may be uh, configured on regular basis at uh, some time when uh, server has a very less uh, load preferably in the off timing of your office so we have right now we are going to uh, backup one uh, initial backup we are going to perform a initial backup so we will select full and we are going to identify the path and the path which I'm going to uh, select is this one and I'm going to say farm and I'm going to define the date on which the backup is going to be configured so this is my drive that is shared and this is my server name and in this server I have a e drive in which I am going to uh, save the backup so I'm going to click start backup and uh, okay it's a uh, it's telling me that does not exist on the sql server service account okay i'm going to leave it this start backup okay i'm i can't give the name to this backup that happens uh name is required inside collection backup so checking for the readiness uh for readiness it checks that administration service is running then it checks that the timer service is running the timer service is responsible to uh, assign this job to the server in a queue of all the jobs that are running so when the time comes uh, it starts uh, running and uh, a backup or restore is currently in progress okay that one is not green tick and after uh, some uh, period of time you can refresh to see the uh, current status of your backup so uh, it will take some time and after that depending upon the data and the size of your farm the complete uh, farm backup will be performed here you can see that after some uh, 
minutes the sorry backup has started and uh, here you can see that it's the directory it's telling me that right now there are three threads and there's no error or warning and all of these uh, steps all of these uh, components backup is in progress uh, and it's telling me about preparing backups of some components and here you can see that there are different type of statuses and data in process and uh, it will automatically be refreshed after some interval of time and you can check the status of your backup during the uh, in process uh, duration okay it's about uh, the start time was 10 16 a.m and right now it's uh, 10 41 a.m the backup uh, is still in progress and uh, the items uh, uh, it has crawled uh, uh, or it has successfully backup our 68 out of 155 and right now it's uh, performing the backup of infopath form services and here you can also see the status that are completed and similarly you can also see the status that are in uh, progress or that are in process so uh, continue staying with me for other some minutes so that the backup uh, we will we ensure that the backup is completed successfully after that we will go for a restoration job okay viewers here you can see that uh, the backup has been completed with warnings and we can see the log file for the details of the warnings but uh, right now i am ignoring the warnings because uh, there is no error and uh, warnings are some type of warnings are ignorable so we are not going into the details and now what i'm going to do i'm going into my e drive and going to verify whether my uh, backup files are here yes uh, wonderful uh, when creating a full form backup it creates two uh, files the first one is XML file and the second one is a folder in which it uh, saves all the backup files uh, in the format of dot bak <coughs> it also uh, gives a sp backup logs in which it tells you about all the processes that have been executed and when it's and uh, the last date which it gives you is the one which was uh, available in the central administration that is uh, this one okay so uh, the backup has been completed successfully here you can see that all the processes are completed and now we are going into view history to see uh, how many uh, backups we have done just uh, we have created <clears throat> so these are all the farm backups that have been created and uh, if I want to restore any farm backup uh, what I have to do I just have to simply select it and click on begin restore process after restore process the complete farm backup will be restored Similarly, I can also uh, see the details here of the backup that was performed here and uh, in our next coming videos, we will destroy our farm, we will completely delete our farm and then we will restore the complete farm from this backup. So, uh, viewers continue enjoying the videos uh, and also subscribe my channel so that uh, I may have uh, more subscriber for making my channel more authentic. I thank you all for watching the video.